Hi, my name is Timo Elliott and I'm an innovation evangelist for SAP. I'd like to talk to you about some of the challenges to implementing big data analytics. The first challenge is the technology itself. Big data requires some big adjustments. There's a host of new opportunities. There's a lot of new technology and it's changing fast. There are in-memory systems like SAP HANA. There are open source projects like Hadoop and Spark. There are graph databases, machine learning, text analytics, spatial processing. There's lots and lots of new opportunities. The good news is that we're past the peak of the hype cycle. In other words, companies have had a chance to try out these different technologies, and they have a much better idea of what works and what doesn't work. When first people try new technologies, they tend to do old things in new ways. Now they've had a chance to look closer, they're finding new things to do. There's less talk, for example, of ripping and replacing existing analytics technologies and more about wrapping and renewing, extending existing analytics to new techniques and opportunities. The next challenge is finding the right people with the right skills. It's hard to find people that really know these new systems. The good news is that companies are able to use their existing analytics staff who are typically delighted to have the opportunity to learn some new and marketable skills. And what's great is there are a lot of free training resources available. For example, at open.sap.com and at the SAP HANA Academy, there are step-by-step -step technical detailed instructions on how to use both HANA and Hadoop for big data projects. There's also a shortage of people who have the skills to get the most value out of data. We tend to call them data scientists. They require deep background in statistics and knowledge of the business, and they tend to be rare and expensive. The good news is that some new technology is helping remove some of the bottlenecks. For example, there's now easier to use predictive analytics tools that can be used, for example, by the marketing department to do campaign optimization without requiring a PhD in statistics. The next big challenge is the initial business case for the new technology, and it tends to come through either saving money or by finding new opportunities. So, for example, by moving data from a traditional disk-based relational database to Hadoop, companies can save money, especially if that data is not queried very often. Or if you have an existing SAP BW system, companies like Molson Coors were able to simplify their data warehouse by moving it to HANA, and that made everything they did both simpler and cheaper. And the final area of challenge is integration. Too many of these big data systems are standalone silos that are separate for the rest of your corporate information systems. But to get the real value, you have to correlate information. For example, it's great to look at social data, but you can't really get the full value of that until you associate it with your marketing costs. And above all, you find out whether that extra social activity has really led to profitable sales. So going forward, I hope uh, that's been interesting. Those are the four big areas of challenges. The first was the technology. Second was the people. The third is finding those initial business cases. And the last one is integrating it properly with your existing systems. Thank you for your time.